Welcome back for another video guys and today I want to talk about a jerk rig and decoy rigs that I use. So every duck hunter knows that when you use floater decoys you need to have a weight system to keep your decoys in place. And so I started using these rigs by Lifetime Decoys and I honestly think that they are the best rigs on the market and the best rigs that money can buy and they have a three year warranty in the off chance that something does break. I know I did make a video a few years ago talking about how I like the sliding weight decoy rigs better than the sliding decoy decoy rigs, but I think over time and trying different things out and using, using different brands of gear, I kind of found the one that I'm probably going to stick with for a very, very, very long time because I firmly believe that this rig right here is the best rig that money can buy and the best rig on the market currently. And I'm not saying that because Lifetime Decoys told me to say that. I'm saying that because I am a firm believer in these rigs and I've used them and I love them and here is why. If you take a closer look at these rigs, they are made out of a PVC coated cable. So your normal rigs, what everybody has used for Texas rigs in the past has been like a nylon kind of monofilament. It gets memory in the line and it gets kinked up and it tangles really easily. Well, with this being a PVC coated cable, there's no memory in the line and it just goes limp. There's a less likelihood of getting really bad tangles, getting decoys wrapped up in one another. These just flow really smoothly with one another. You get tangles, but they're easy to get out. You give them a couple shakes and usually your decoys do come free. We've all been in that situation where you've been riding in the boat, riding in the truck, your decoys are tangled up and it can be kind of a mess. So uh, these rigs, they help to alleviate that issue. My personal preference here, just from the waters that I hunt, I use the uh, 46 inch, I think it's 46 inch, um, four ounce weight rigs. So sliding decoy, so no matter the depth of the water, your decoy's gonna be fine unless it's deeper and then you got bigger problems. So uh, nice little loop. So they're floating in the water, whatever you're going to pick up decoys, you can just pick up the decoy, grab the loop, throw it on the carabiner, and you're good to go. These rigs are very high quality. I really like them. They, uh, they've they stood the test to the beating that I have put my gear through, and uh, I just, I would recommend them to anybody, and I want to I want to recommend it to you guys. But when I said something about a carabiner, it brought up uh, the next point that I want to make, is these rigs come with a big carabiner, and that's very convenient because when your hands are cold, there's cold water, whatever. I mean, everything's easier when it's big and simple and uh, you're just going through picking up. I mean, I've used these for hauling my bulk decoy club full bodies with the tail loops. I've fit two dozen of them on one of these carabiners. If you can't tell, I'm just, I really like these rigs and I wanna encourage you guys to check them out if you're looking up at uh, getting some new rigging done this summer. I know that there's still people out there who use a uh, piece of bank line and a J hook or like one of those strap weights and you wrap the keel around and it's horrible. Your hands get freezing cold. You put them in a bag. No, I, if you're still doing that, you are behind and you are wasting time and you are putting yourself through more pain than you should. Go ahead and upgrade to Texas rigs. Check out Lifetime Decoy Rigs. It's just a great product and I, I don't want to steer you guys wrong with anything and uh, if it wasn't a great product, I wouldn't be using it. Now the next thing I want to look at with you guys is the jerk rig that Lifetime Decoys makes. And it is phenomenal. I, I've i never used a better jerk rig in my whole duck hunting experience than this one right here. And there's a few reasons why and I want to explain that. And there's also those reasons why also are why this is more expensive than some other jerk rigs that you're gonna buy. So uh, it comes with a three and a half pound weight on the bottom, folds up, and uh, you know, this can also double as an anchor for a kayak. I did that once actually. I was duck hunting in my kayak. I needed to anchor down, so I just used my jerk rig, threw that out there, and it worked perfectly. So um, if you're in a pinch in your boat and you need an anchor, the jerk rig comes with that. So. Um, you got your anchor and then you've got a big piece of bungee and uh, that that helps give the decoys motion in the water. Going up the jerk rig here, it is made out of the same PVC coated cable that the uh, 
the decoy rigs are made out of. And so we've all been in the situation where we're using a jerk rig and it cuts into your hands because you're pulling the line. This doesn't have that because it is PVC coated cable. Another thing I want to show you guys about the jerk rig that's different than other jerk rigs that are out on the market is it's got a barrel swivel and it's got multiples up the whole thing. So there's no more uh, tangles coming out in, uh, or twists and stuff getting in, getting in, the, in the line and uh, it makes it a lot easier to use. And that's pretty cool. It's nice and long. And something you might notice is there's no clips on the rig itself and there's a reason for that. So it comes with six clips that go on your decoys. So um, these are gang rig clips. If you guys don't know what a gang rig is, it's the things, it's the like the long lines that diver hunters use. It's got a clip that you clip to your decoy, and then it's also got a, a clip on the other side of it. And you just squeeze it, and then you put it right on the line, just like that. So you can pick and choose where you want the decoys to be on the line. And no, I, I haven't seen any other jerk rig on the market doing that as well. Here it is attached to the decoy. I did six of them. So this is gonna be what like the full on jerk rig looks like. I'll go out to the pond, paddle out, put them on there, come back and show you guys. It's pretty simple, but you know, it's kind of cool when you see it in motion, you know, but something I like about these gang rig clips for the jerk rig is that you can leave these on there and if you need the jerk rig, boom, you got it right there. If you don't need the jerk rig, it ain't gonna hurt anything. So it's just one less step because I know when it's cold outside and you're trying to put together a jerk rig, it can be kind of a pain getting these clips into these holes here. So if you're able to uh, just leave that on there and just boom right there, I like that a lot. And I know that this might seem like just like a forced video where, you know, I'm getting paid to say all this stuff. I'm not getting paid to say this. I'm saying this to give you guys an honest opinion and review of these products that I use. And if, if I'm using it, chances are I probably like it enough to tell you guys to go and get it for yourself. So let's go ahead and get this jerk rig put out. I've used a lot of jerk rigs in the past where they're made out of like a, a nylon rope and you got to wrap it around and then pull it and it's hurting your hand. Well, this, this cable, it's soft and it doesn't cut into you at all. So when, when I pull that, I can pull it and it goes. I don't know if you guys can see that because of the exposure on the camera, but it's going and I really like it. I like how you can like be selective. Let's say I wanted three decoys out there close together. I could do that. And if I want to space them out over, you know, the whole jerk rig, I could probably run this jerk rig probably halfway across this pond. We're about a quarter of the way now. Uh, I've got enough to probably do between a third and a half of this pond. So you got a lot of room to work with and you can put the decoys wherever you want. So um, it, it really allows you to customize your spread to add the motion where you need it. So I like it. The anchor stays in place. I'm pulling really long bungee cord on the end, snaps right back, and um, you know, it looks like ducks on water, doesn't it? Packing it up, same as putting it out, you just wrap it up on the on the handle thing here, and then you go pick up your decoys, detach them, put them on the carabiner. So I really do like these products, and I would recommend them to anybody who's either just getting into waterfowl hunting or has been doing it for 50 years. This is something that everybody could use and they're, they're the best that is on the market right now. So can't complain with that. And I just want to tell you guys about it. If you guys want to help support the channel, you can pick up one of these shirts or one of these hats right here. 
and uh, by clicking the link in the description, it'll take you over there, pick one up, and it helps helps me keep doing what I do over here. You can also follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that is all i got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will catch you on the next one. <laughs>